It's Monday morning, lads. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Here's the latest news from the Counseling Center. The college visit lineup continues this week with the following school visits. Pikes Peak Community College changed their visit to this week on Thursday, February 8th, but Fort Hayes State is still scheduled for next week on Tuesday, February 13th. Colorado Mesa will be here on Valentine's Day, and UCCS plans to be here on Thursday, February 15th. The Adams State reps would love to chat with you on Thursday, February 22nd, then visit with the reps from Lamar Community College on Friday, February 23rd. On Monday, February 26th, the reps from the Barbizon Modeling and Acting School will be in the Lower Commons during lunch to tell you about their school programs. Closing out February visits will be the reps from CU Denver on February 28th. Seniors interested in attending PPCC in the fall, stop by the Counseling Center to sign up for PPCC's application day on Thursday, February 15th. The PPCC reps will be here to help you fill out the application. They'll be back on Wednesday, April 11th to help you with registration. Freshmen and sophomores and juniors. Cosmetology classes are coming to Widefield next year. If you are interested in these classes, be sure to stop by the Counseling Center and add your name to the list. Seniors, the panoramic photo is tomorrow morning in Bowers Gym at 7 a.m. Be sure to wear your senior class shirt, then mark this off your bucket list. Senior shirts are still available in the Counseling Center for $15. And remember, seniors, Kiri Carmody is waiting for your senior photos. Send them to her email, and remember, the photos must be of seniors only. Credit recovery registration is now open, and the spring session starts on February 12th. To register, go to the District Programs page on the WSD3.org site, select High School Credit Recovery, and get started recovering those credits. Also, be sure to attend the mandatory orientation on February 12th at 3.30 p.m. in the cafeteria, where you will meet your CRT and receive your access code for the pretest. If you cannot attend this orientation, you cannot start your session courses. Please see Ms. Dykus for more information. Coming up, we're checking in with Ms. Betsy in the cafeteria for the lunch menu today and tomorrow. Happy Monday, everybody. Today we have chili dogs, and you know there's nothing better than chili on a hot dog. We'll have some chopped onions for you just to really spice it up a little bit. And then on Tuesday, we're having chicken self tacos. Come on down and see us. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ms. Betsy. Students, remember to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. When we come back, we'll have club news and fundraisers, but first, we're throwing it to Kieran Doolittle for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Spring sports will start practices at the end of the month on February 26th, and you will need to pick up a yellow card to play. Cards will be available in the main office on February 12th. Remember, you need to have a current physical on file and a yellow card to participate. Glads, the jazz band is looking for a few good bass and electric guitar players for next year. If you have the skills, please see Mr. King in the band room for audition information. Our forensics team worked their magic over the weekend at Discovery Canyon campus, and here are the results. Nicely done, forensics team. Team members, remember to wear your team shirt on Thursday for the team picture. It will be in room 210 during advisory. From the NJROTC desk, cadets, the military ball is quickly approaching. If you plan to bring an outside guest, mark your calendars because those forms will be available starting on February 14th and will be due by March 1st. We will bring you additional details as the ball gets closer. Hey Glads, this Wednesday is the NCAA National Signing Day. We have five, that's right, five student athletes who will be signing national letters of intent to play football at various schools after graduation. If you can make it, come join this party in the small gym at 3 p.m. as we celebrate TJ Davis, Myrique Goodwin, Xavier Perkins, Isaac Price, and Sam Reed. And finally, our basketball teams took on the Elizabeth Cardinals on Friday night. Our ladies put on the pressure for the win. The ladies are home tonight against Woodland Park at 7 p.m. The men also took the Elizabeth Cardinals and added another W to their streak. The men's team travels to Woodland Park tonight for their game at 7 p.m. We'll have those scores on Wednesday. That's it for our sports update. Have a great week. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Now back to you, Hannah and Ethan. Thanks, Kieran. If you're having issues with a fellow student, you should try and resolve it with the help of a peer mediator. 
Watch this short video about how peer mediators can help us where to go and how to get started with that help. Hey Elisa, did you hear what Amber said about us and it's your routine at the outdoor assembly? Yeah, she was being really rude. She said that we suck. She even said that they should have dropped me on the head. I'm going to go roast her on Snapchat. Hey guys, I know a roast session can be fun, but there's better ways to handle the situation. Yeah, I heard about peer mediation. Maybe we should go try it. If you have a conflict with a peer and would like to resolve the issue, please contact Ms. Hines or Mr. Munoz. They can then set up the mediation. Students may also have a classroom teacher help set up on Google Drive. Renaissance applications are now available on the School Wires page. Everyone is eligible to apply this time, including freshmen. All applications are due this Wednesday, February 7th, to Ms. Sardinia in room 130, no later than 3 p.m. She will not take any late applications, so be sure to check with her if needed more information. Student Union is open again in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. Be sure you have a sticker on your ID. The lost and found bin in the business office is growing. Please come check to see if any of these items are yours. Any items not claimed will be donated. Now here's an ad from the Red Cross Club. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hi, I'm Raina, and we're from the Red Cross, and we would like to invite you to the Red Cross Club. We are going to have an informational meeting on Wednesday at lunch in Mid Shepherd's room. Some of the cool things about this club is that you get community service hours, you get involved with other people, and you get to help your community out in general. If you are interested in joining the medical field or education or anything like that, I recommend doing Red Cross to get volunteer hours and just to understand what it's about. You could come to the meeting and we're going to have pizza at lunch. So we'll see you there. Bye. Thanks, ladies. Any student interested in competing in the Zypod annual All City High School Step, Dance, and Talent Hunt, please see Mr. Washington in room 115 for details and entry information. They welcome individual and group dancers, musicians, vocalists, and thespians. The talent showcase will be on March 3rd at Pikes Peak Community College. Cash prizes will be awarded for first, second, and third place. Students and teachers, golden tickets are coming soon. Teachers, remember to hand out your golden ticket to that one student among all your students who deserve it. Students, if you get a golden ticket, remember to put it in one of the boxes for your chance to win some very cool prizes. Prizes will be drawn at the assembly on February 27th. Attention, NJROTC cadets. The military ball is right around the corner. As we get more news, we'll keep you in the loop. For now, ladies, you might want to start making those appointments to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. We heard they just got some new inventory. See HK in the library or Miss Molina in room 111 to make those appointments. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and if you need a gift for your honey, Freshman Council has you covered. Freshman Council will be selling candy grams starting this Wednesday until Thursday, February 13th. They're only $1 and will be delivered to your special someone during first hour on Valentine's Day. If you would prefer something more substantial for your sweetie, the Freshman Council will also have a cakewalk on Valentine's Day at lunch in the small gym. It's only 25 cents to play and you might walk away with a tasty treat for your boo. Come check it out. Teachers and staff, the purple toilet is back. First, you should know that this is part of Student Cabinet Pennies for Puppies fundraiser and all of the money collected goes to the Humane Society. Here's how it works. If the toilet lands in your room or office, you are stuck with it unless you pay to have it removed. If the toilet came from someone else's room or office, you have to raise more money than the teacher or a staff member who had it before you raised. For example, if the teacher before you raised 517, you will have to raise 518 to have the toilet removed from your location. Student cabinet members will come around after each class period to see if the toilet needs to be moved. So please do not move it yourself or have students move it. They will also collect any money you you have raised for this movement. Thanks in advance for your participation and good luck raising money for those puppies. That's all for our news today. Have a great week. I'm Hannah Hall and I'm Ethan Simon. Remember Friday is a student day off.